Hello viewers, this is Mubil Shah. Once again, welcome you all to my Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 tutorial. Today, I am going to discuss about swap partition, how to create swap partition and how to add swap partition space with existing swap partition. So, to check the current swap space we can use this command which is free space hyphen m and if we look at the swap we can see currently we have around 2 gb of swap space uh, let me tell you one thing about swap what is actually swap when we are out of ram means maybe we have a 1 GB of RAM physical RAM and it is not sufficient for the process then our physical hard disk can allow a space so that system can use it as a memory so this is actually swap swap space so swap space basically used to uh, create for the alternative of physical RAM okay so now to add the swap space what we can do we can first create a partition and change the partition type to swap and then we can add that space with our existing swap space so to create a partition let me check the hard disk first what hard disk available in my machine I got one hard disk which is dev sdb and another one is dev sda <coughs> so for this tutorial I am going to use the dev sdb fdx then slash dev slash sdb hit enter and then to create a new partition the option is n you can press n and uh, then hit enter or if you want you are not uh, if you are not sure you can press um, M also for the help and then enter and now you can see here N is for adding a new partition so type N and then hit enter <coughs> sorry here it is asking for the partition type what will be the partition type whether it is partition uh, primary partition or extended partition I am going to create a primary partition so press uh, P and hit enter and the partition number in my case I am using 2 and then the first sector leave it blank hit enter and here the last sector to specify the size for example if I want to add 512 MB of RAM mb of space with my existing swap space i can write like this plus 512 capital m okay and then hit enter so now we can see it is saying partition 2 of type linux and of size 512 is set okay so uh, we need to change the type also because uh, I, we are going to add the swap swap space so we need to change the type to swap linux swap and to change to linux swap you can use the code the hex code for linux swap is 82 but if you are not sure you can always check with the command which is look here is a option t change a partition system id so if you type here t and then hit enter you will uh, uh, see it is asking for the partition type in my case it is 82 which is for swap ok uh, sorry uh, it is asking for the partition number first so we have to specify the partition number in my case it is 2 uh, and then, then the hex code what will be the hex, hex code it is 82 and then hit enter ok so now it is saying change type of partition linux to linux swap solaris ok if you want to see the status just type p and hit enter look now it is saying dev sdb2 created a new one created 
uh, and the system type is Linux swap solaris ok right <coughs> if you want to see all the codes all the codes associated with the type uh, type M and then hit enter and then uh, using the um, L option list known partition types you can check it so type L and then hit enter now look it is saying for pad 32 the id is 1 uh, for x c and t x root it is 2 so what we did this is linux Sina, linux swap which is 82 and in my previous video i have shown you how to create linux lvm for that it is 8e okay so these are the cores available with data interval linux 7 and once again if you want to uh, write the partition in the partition table you can use the w option to write it and then once you got exit from the fdx window press uh, type part group and then hit enter i already said what part group does part group immediately change your system partition table okay so we have created the partition and we have changed the type it to uh, linux swap now we are going to add it with our existing swap space once again if you want to check the current swap space which is in my case it's saying around 2 gb now to add it with existing swap space the first thing you have to format it with the swap format mk swap the command to format it mk swap and then the partition partition location which is dev space in our case it is dev space sdb2 so dev slash dev slash uh, slash dev slash sdb2 slab slash dev slash sdb2 and then hit enter so we got a UUID also after formatting it to swap now um, if you want to make it permanent okay if you want that uh, for like if I mount it temporarily after rebooting our machine it will not work so to give a permanent entry in our uh, FS tab we can use this UUID okay so you can select and copy it and go to win etc fs tab and hit enter now press o you will get a new line and then paste it here okay uh, for the swap partition you actually do not need to specify any uh, folder to mount just type swap for the mount uh, mount for as a mount folder and then uh, the type okay formatting type which is swap also and then defaults 0 space 0 okay and then got save and get exit from this window now you can add okay to add uh, the option is swap on sorry type mistake swap on and then hyphen uh, hyphen a will work also but you uh, you actually do not need to use the hyphen a you can straight away use the ui uuid or you can use the path okay which is dev sdp2 okay so we are adding it with our existing swap by using this command which is swap on then space slash dev slash sdp2 and then hit enter okay if you uh, type now free space hyphen m and then hit enter it is saying the swap is now 2500 11 that means 
uh, another 512 MB added with our existing swap space okay so that is how we can actually add swap space with our existing swap space and if you want to permanently mount it uh, you can use this command which is mount hyphen a uh, that is all and then using dap space hyphen h you can check whether it is mounted or not you can see that it is already mounted okay so uh, that is all that is all about uh, our linux swap option mm. once you get rebooted the swap space uh, will be always added with your existing one because we made a permanent entry in our f step okay mm. so that is all that is all about swap how to create swap and how to add swap space in existing swap space so thanks very much you guys take care i will see you guys in my next video with some new topics in uh, red hat linux 7 thanks bye sorry one thing i actually uh, did mistake here uh, using df space hyphen h uh, you will not see the um, swap mounted option here because we just added the swap space with our uh, existing swap space using free space hyphen m you always can check so that that is free space hyphen m and then hit enter look now you can see the space is added here that we already uh, showed earlier uh, so thanks once again for watching my videos and please if you find this helpful share with your friends and families thanks bye bye